Hi there and welcome to the tutorial on functions in JavaScript. Today we will be covering the basics of what function are, how to declare and use them and some of the different types of function you can create. First thing first, what is function? Well think of it like a machine that takes in some input, does some work on it and then spits out some output. In programming, we use functions to group together lines of code that we want to use again and again or to help us solve specific problems. There are two main ways to create functions in JavaScript. Use function declaration and using function expressions. Let's start with function declarations. A function declaration is like a blueprint for a function. You can use the function keyword followed by the name you want to give your function and then a set of parentheses and curly braces. Inside the curly braces, you put the lines of code that you want the function to run. Here is an example. This function is called say hello and when you run it, it will log the message hello world to the console. But so far we haven't actually run the function. To do that we need to call the function by using its name followed by a set of parentheses. Like this. When you call the function, it will run the code inside its curly braces and log the message to the console. Now let's talk about function expressions. A function expression is similar to a declaration but instead of using the function keyword, you use an assignment operator to assign the function to a variable. Here is an example. This function is called say goodbye and it's assigned to a variable called say goodbye. When you call the variable like this, it will run the message and log the message goodbye world to the console. One cool thing about function expression is that you can also make them anonymous. That just means you don't give them a name and instead you use them directly as a value. Here is an example. This function takes two parameters num1 and num2 and returns their sum. We have assigned it to a variable called add numbers but we could also just use it directly in our code like this. When we run this code, it will log the number 7 to the console. Now let's talk about function hoisting. This is a term you might hear when people talk about JavaScript functions. Basically it means that when JavaScript is interpreting your code, it hosts function declaration to the top of their scope. This means you can call a function before you have actually declared it. Like this. In this example, we are calling the say hello function before we have actually declared it. But because of function hosting, the code will still run without any errors. This can be a bit confusing at first, but it is just a quirk of how JavaScript works. Now let's talk about function parameters. These are like variables that you can pass into a function when you call it. They allow you to customize what the function does based on different inputs. Here is an example. In this example, we have declared a function called sayName that takes one parameter name. When you call the function and pass in the value Alice, it will log the message hello Alice to the console. We could also call the function with a different name like this and it would log the message hello bob instead. 
नेक्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट रिटर्निंग वैल्यूज फ्रॉम फंक्शंस सो फार वी हैव सीन एग्जांपल्स ऑफ फंक्शंस दैट यूज कंसोल डॉट लॉग टू लॉग मैसेज टू द कंसोल बट समटाइम्स यू वांट योर फंक्शन टू डू मोर देन जस्ट प्रिंट समथिंग आउट यू माइट वांट इट टू एक्चुअली रिटर्न अ वैल्यू दैट यू कैन यूज इन योर कोड हेयर इज एन एग्जाम्पल In this example we have declared a function called add numbers that take two parameters num1 and num2 inside the function we use the return keyword to specify that we want to return the sum of the two numbers when we call the function and assign the result to a variable called result it will hold the value 7 we can then log that value to the console using console.log now let's talk about immediately invoked function expressions also known as iifes This is a way to declare and call a function all in one step without needing to give it a name. Here is an example. In this example, we have wrapped a function declaration in parentheses and then immediately followed it with another set of parentheses. This calls the function right away without needing to give it a name. The code will log the message. This is an IIFE to the console. Now let's talk about arrow function. These are a new syntax for writing functions that can be more concise and easier to read. Here is an example. In this example we are using an arrow function to declare the add number function. We don't need to use the function keyword. Instead, we use an arrow to indicate that this is a function. we can then use curly braces to define the function body just like we did before when we call the function and assign the result to a variable called result it will hold the value 7 we can then log that value to the console using console.log finally let's talk about function scope and closures this is a more advanced topic but it is an important one to understand if you want to become a skilled javascript developer Essentially a scope refers to the set of variables and functions that are available in a particular part of your code. Closures refer to the ability of functions to remember variables from their parent scope even after the parent function has returned. Here is an example. In this example we are using a function called make adder to create two new functions add3 and add5 when we call make adder with the argument 3 it returns a new function that takes one argument and adds it to 3 we then assign this new function to the variable add3 we can do the same thing with the argument 5 and the variable add5 finally we call these new functions with different arguments and log the results to the console the output should be 7 and 12 respectively that's it for our tutorial on creating functions we have covered everything from function declarations to anonymous functions and we have explored some of the advanced concepts like function hostings and closures by mastering these concept you will be able to write more efficient and expressive code in javascript and you will be well on your way to becoming a skilled developer thanks for watching See you in the next video.